Just yeah, out of the love of your yeah, love, straight love. Okay. So here's the story on Gauss. Okay. At the age of ten, while you guys were Facebooking, okay, Gauss was doing a problem like this from his tutor. Okay. This is at the age of ten, about three hundred years ago or more. Okay, three hundred years ago or more. So his his tutor gave him this problem and said, "Hey, can you do this for me?" So, being the genius that he was, he said, yeah, you dumb, eh? You just do this. <laughs> you add it up, and you get 101. How many 101s do you get, teacher? 100. 100. Nice job, teacher. But did you see I added it twice? Duh. Here's your answer, teacher. Comes out to this formula here. So what that formula is telling you is you take the first number and the last number, you average it, and you multiply by the number of numbers you have. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that brilliant? At the age of 10. Yeah. Was he high back then? I, I don't even know if they, they did stuff like that back then. All right, so please make sure that you know both these equations because, again, one of them is going to be useful in one context. The other one is going to be useful in the other context, okay? All right, so use Gauss's formula to do this problem, okay? To use Gauss. Okay. All right, let's do uh, another example then. And on this one here, uh, on this one here, I suggest you use the second formula, okay? Use the second formula. Partial sum just is another way of saying give me the sum of 150th terms, 150 terms. Because the sequence, the series goes on forever and ever, right? So all I want is the first hundred, the sum of the first 150. Okay? Okay. Did anybody come up with an answer yet? Yeah, yeah what do you get? Yeah, one, two, three, six, seven, five. Okay, is everybody there? Because A1 is equal to five. N is 150. D is 11. You chug on that, and you should get SN equals one, two. Make sure you're using the protection properly, okay? One, two, three, six, seven, five. No, yeah, you smoked somewhere. You probably didn't use protection problem. Are you using some SEQ or what are you doing? Some SEQ like what we did on Friday? So I want you to do it two ways, okay? First, I want you to chug using this formula and then check using some SEQ, what I taught you on Friday. Okay, what I taught you on Friday. And when you are using this formula, please make sure you've got all these parentheses in there, okay? Make sure you've got that. Okay. Is everybody getting one, two, three, six, seven, five? Okay, I'm going to pause here for a minute. You're not dividing A1 by 2. No, no, A1 plus. Come on, girl, it's right there. Follow that, right there. All right, uh, I want to go over these uh, three formulas, okay? 
Uh, these formulas are really important. They'll show up again in calculus next year. And for those people taking uh, calculus A, B, you've got to memorize these things, okay? You've got to memorize these things. So what is this saying, okay? The first one's kind of really obvious. All it's saying is that if I add 1, n times, okay, if I add 1, n times, I get n. Wow, genius. <coughs> right? 1 plus 1 plus 1, n times. There are n one, so your answer's got to be n. Okay? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty genius-like. The next one is telling you if I were to add consecutive numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, so on, all the way to n, then it becomes this, which is Gauss's formula. Which is Gauss's formula, okay? Average of the first and the last, okay? Which is n plus 1 over 2 times n, which is Gauss's formula, okay? The last one is saying if you are to add 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared and so on, okay? Then it's the same plus n squared. It's the same thing as this formula here. So this is what I want you to do, okay? I want you to calculate this the old-fashioned way by plugging in numbers, okay? Plug in numbers there, and then compare it with putting 10 for n in there, okay? And see that you get the same answer, okay? So I'll put... Okay, last topic. Uh, this last topic we've kind of done before, okay? So it is kind of quick review. Okay, does everybody understand the sentence here? What do I mean by that? Yeah, so this number 4 is repeating after the first decimal place. So that's why the period is 1. What's the period for this guy? Okay, you guys get the idea of period, okay? So since the period of this is 1, I'm going to times this equation by 10 to the 1. If the period was 2, then I would times it by 10 to the 2, okay? So I'm going to times both sides by the same thing. then this guy becomes 24.44 and so on. Does everybody buy that? Is everybody okay on that? 24.444 blah blah blah. Has everybody got that? You times it by that. You're multiplying this equation by 10 to the 1. Okay? And you'll see why in a minute. Okay? I'm going to rewrite my first equation. That's this one. I'm going to rewrite it here. Okay, and for those people like uh, Felix who've seen this before, what do I do, Felix? Sorry. What? There is no Y there, dude. Divide. What with what? Subtract the bottom equation from the top. What do you get? What do you get? Does everybody uh, is everybody with uh, Leo on this thing? Myers. Uh, prom fatigue, name fatigue, name fatigue. You try and remember 150 names, dude. I challenge you. Try and remember 150 names. Everybody get 22 on the left hand side. Chris, what do you get on the right hand side? 9x. Then what's x equal to? Okay, I want you to get your calculators out, chug on this. And show me that it's equal to that. Yeah? yeah? Everybody know how to go from a recurring decimal to a fraction? Yes. And I'm done. <laughs>